Hello everybody and welcome back to Enigmatica 6 Expert. In today's episode, as you can see, we upgrade our tools. Now we've got Alf Steel Swords, Alf Steel Pickaxes, and Alf Steel Adds and Chopping Mattock Tool. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so today we're going to attempt to upgrade our tools at last. What we need to do is find ourselves a Tetra Forge, loot it, and then make ourselves a special hammer that can only be crafted in there. And then from there, we can actually make ourselves the Alf Steel tools that we want. Hopefully, I have enough Alf Steel. I didn't actually check how much I have. I have 10, which should be more than enough to upgrade our tools at least. I think I need about two pieces for a pickaxe, two pieces for that. So that's four. And then maybe one piece for the blade, so five pieces in total. I am not sure what I'm going to make the handles out of. Like this guy's handle here is a bronze hilt and an atonium counterweight. Right now, our current pickaxe and mattock are iron handles. So I'm, I don't know whether or not I should upgrade those to end rod handles because end rod does give quite a bit of integrity. And if I look in here on the quests, um, back here when we used to get the tier 4 hammer, the blackstone, it gave us an end rod. But the thing is, an end rod has apparently some weird side effects with endermen. So I don't know what that means. Either they just aggro you at all times, no matter what. And uh, that might be something we might have to try and figure out. But if it's not that big of an issue, we might go with it. But then again, integrity isn't that big of a deal. Uh, it is how you upgrade your tools to have better stats and all that, but with the amount of enchantments and stuff that we're going to be using and how powerful and durable these pickaxes will be, I'm not too worried about having like a huge amount of efficiency or whatever. So, to actually start, we need to make ourselves a few tools. Mainly to loot the Tetra Dungeons once we get there. Like, we need our knife and our hammer. This is a Blackstone hammer. Now, what is the next tier of hammer we can actually go to? Um, I think we actually do need to go straight to the forge, which will count as a tier 5 hammer. And then we can make ourselves an obsidian hammer. Uh, be warned, end rod handle may have unfortunate side effects when near enderman. Use with caution. That's the where I read it. So I need to be careful. But apparently I need to use the end rod to make this guy. So do I have any end rods on me? End rods. I do. So if I grab an end rod here and grab some obsidian... Okay, and if I go to add Tetra and take out my iron hammer here, grab out some blackstone and see if I can upgrade this hammer now as well. Uh, so come in here and put that in there and say iron hammer head, change hammer head to blackstone. Okay. Oh, wait, no, wrong thing. Hammer head that. There we go. So that made us a blackstone hammer, which is a tier four hammer. Exact same as this guy. So, let's see if we can use this hammerhead and upgrade to obsidian. Okay, yeah, so I need a tier 6. I have tier 4. So, I'm guessing the um, Tetra Forge hammer counts as a tier 6 hammer. And now, the thing is, we can actually make the Tetra Forge hammer. I don't think we can make the Forge workbench, but it does work if it's above this workbench. So, we might have to make this guy if we cannot find it underground. We actually can make it right now. We have everything for it. But to run it, we're going to need a few tools. These thermal cells. Okay, actually, the thermal cells are like that. They are full power charge. Um, it would be nice to find the dungeons because there is upgrades you can get. Like this combustion chamber. I have one, but there is this, um, I don't know, circular centerpiece thingy. I'm not actually seeing it there. Why can I not see it in this list of stuff? Oh, no, there it is. It's so faded. You can barely see it. This planar stabilizer or planar stabilizer. I don't know exactly what this does. It says can be attached to a forge hammer causes major modules crafted with the hammer to slightly improve the stats of the item. Now, unfortunately, we do not have one of these, but we can only find these guys in the deep structures on the ground. So what we need to do is upgrade our hollow sphere to have a scanner module. And a scanner module is going to be an eye of ender. So if we put this guy in here with the attachment scanner, eye of ender, can we add double the amount? Oh, it kind of double scanner. Okay, I think having double scanner kind of broke it. Now it's green again. 
Okay, so integrity use is two out of three. I don't know what other things we can attach in here. It's just the only thing in here is a scanner. But it says only use an eye of ender, so I don't know. Dim core, no slots, no slots. Adjust it with bolts. I have a bolt, don't I? Uh, I do. What happens if I give it a bolt? Oh, the integrity is too high. Um, okay, so I can't do that. And I can just remove the module. Okay, so I don't know what the range of this guy is, but I remember hearing someone talk about it being two chunks, I think. So we might have to try and like really like be careful. And it says shift right click to snooze the scanner. I can't see, I see something going down. Oh, it snoozes it for five minutes. And then you can un -right, shift right click to unsnooze it. Right, what we need to do is going to leave one black hammer right here, and I'm going to keep one on me. What I need to do now is, this is a hammer as well, I don't know what this is. Uh, but we need to make ourselves this, like, lock picking tool. And that's going to be, like, some sort of, like, wrench slash claw thing. So maybe I should upgrade this hammer arm thing here to it. So if we go in here, drop you in, and change this hammer here to a pickaxe head maybe that makes this guy which is i don't know the name is kind of throwing me off but it's left like that and if we remove this guy can i remove him toolbot maybe add a toolbot so i don't know if this is the right tool probably not and um, but i know you need some sort of like wrenching tool and i'm guessing a pickaxe would do it so we'll just use this the hammer we'll grab our cutting tool we'll probably upgrade him as well I don't know what to, maybe a netherite. Uh, if we throw this in here, iron short blade, uh, short blade, netherite craft. No, netherite short blade. And I think that might be it. Actually, can I upgrade this guy here to obsidian? Or not obsidian, netherite. I can. Wait. Netherite is the next tier after obsidian. A tier six hammer. Wait, are you telling me I don't need obsidian hammer to go straight to tier six it could have been just glitched out because i didn't have enough of it but blackstone hammer hammer head oh no i need tier seven to make a tier six hammer okay never mind yeah i had a feeling that was the case so i'm going to keep up some obsidian on me i'm going to keep some netherite on me i'm think that's it then i think i have everything i need i don't think i need anything i just have the tools i might grab out the elf steel just in case because i'm going to need that to upgrade my tools properly so put all this in here and uh, the other thing i want to use is rabbit rabbit hide uh, which would be a really good material to add extra integrity onto the tools but other than that i think we're ready to go now it does say it has to be a cold mountainous biome now we have a cold biome up around here and i don't know if one is nearby um there is this mountainous here red rock mountain we could teleport there and see if one's around uh, let's have a look here. Where's Red Rock? Uh, Red Rock Village. And if we hold the scanner, are we near one? Not that the scanner can tell me. Uh, I probably should have got some flight before I left. So if we just fly around here for a while. I don't know if it has a vertical range limit. Um, so we're just going to have to kind of fly around for a bit and see if we get close to one or not. I don't know how long this is going to take. It depends like on how often we're going to find them. Okay, I've flown around this entire mountain, haven't seen one, so the only option I have is to grab up my fly book here and fly around some taiga biomes and kind of keep close to the ground. Like, there's this dungeon over here and that was made out of the, the create brass casing, so there could be one over here. The sphere is supposed to make, like, a sound when you're close by, and I think it only works in the direction you're looking. So I need to kind of, like keep turning my mouse like 180 degrees in each direction just to like make sure I'm scanning enough of an area have a good chance of um finding it I don't think this area here is classed as a mountain so I don't think we're going to find one here yeah now I'm looking at I don't think this area here is classed as a mountain so we're going to have to fly to a different location and see if we can find one where's the next nearest mountain um this direction so i need to fly this way for a bit okay again this area here is not even classed as a mountain which is very odd um 
Even though it is a mountain, it's like a mixture of a bower of fields and a plains. Which should not be the case. I guess this is going to take a while, so I, I'm going to fly around for however long it takes. And I should be back in a few seconds. I'm probably going to fly north and check out this snowy area. Okay, I have been searching for ages. I have flown around all of these biomes. And I looked up on exactly how this holosphere is supposed to work and whatever. And I was... I, when we first added the extra eye on, it kind of went turned black, but it kind of was glitched out. And um, but it turns out, actually, no, that I is okay. I added it on, and apparently there's stats about range and all that, which I didn't see. But I also noticed that it was talking about range of depth. So I have a feeling I was way too high when flying around, and I was trying just to explore vanilla ice biomes, which all this biome here is a snowy taiga. I think it does change into like a different biome every once in a while. But as I was just digging right here, you can hear it. It seems to be somewhere in this direction. Um, so I just kind of like dug down randomly just to see. And I'm on wild level 8. So I have a feeling I'm very, very close to it. And I know it spawns nearly down a bedrock. Uh, but because it has that extra range now on it, it is very slow to pick up anything. So I don't want to accidentally break into it and destroy anything, which I don't think I will. Oh, I can hear a thrasher. And uh, there's a lot of diamonds down here, which is nice. I might actually quickly teleport back home just to um, take off the second Eye of Ender, because it only has a range of 38 blocks, uh, which I believe is only over two chunks. Um... But I seem to have heard the most when I was over here. Um, I don't know why I'm not hearing anything now. Okay. Did I pass it? Oh. Is it in any of these directions? I might actually be too low down. It might actually be above me. Uh, nothing that direction. You know what? It probably is above me. Probably went too far down. I can see something orange over there. Hang on. What is that? Oh, it's just obsidian. Hello, glow squid. Um. Will I be able to find it flying around in here in the water? I think I'm too far away from it now. Okay, I don't know where this thing is. Like, it gave me the sound effects when I was over here. So I'm either above it or underneath it. It team doesn't really tell me that much information. And it's taking a long time to rescan. So I'm actually going to put down a waystone right here. Did I remove the second waystone I already had when I was checking out this thing? I think I did. Yeah, I think I had a waystone on one of these trees here. Uh, so if I put a waystone down here and just unname it, teleport home. And let's go back in here and remove the second eye of ender. Because if we look in here, I didn't notice at the top. It has a cooldown of three seconds before cooled abilities. Scan range is up to 34 blocks away. But if I remove this module here, the cooldown changes. Scan horizontal is 80 units. I don't know what that means. The vertical range is 70. So I'm guessing because I was way above Y level 70, uh, because I was flying in the air, it didn't be, it wasn't able to find it. But now that I've dug down into that snowy tiger biome, I seem to be able to find it. Uh, so if I hold it now, where is it? I got the most activity when I was over here. R wasn't it? Oh. This direction. It must be up the way. There's something up here. I have flight for a second, so. The cave here. There's an ice um thing. Okay, I'm getting really close to it now, I think. This direction. Oops. Damn, this thing is really hard to pinpoint. Okay, I'm nowhere near it now. Is this tell me where it is? Okay, we found the the Dolan dungeon. You remember to hit me from there? That was weird. 
Um, yeah, sure. I'll take all this loot. Why not? I can just take out my, out my ender pouch and just throw it all in. Okay, it's really strong in this direction. It has to be over this way. Do you hear it? <laughs> it's, going, it's a lot louder now. So I must be really close to it. It has to be in this direction somewhere. Oh, yep, we found it. There we go, finally. And now that we're on top of it, this hollow sphere is going to be screaming at me, so... Take it out of my hands and throw it in my bag so it's shut up. Where's... Th this stuff is really hard to break. It says I need a hammer. Can I... Um... Oh, I can get in if I just jump in here. There we go. So here we go. This is the forge hammer they were looking for. And it says I need a knife for that. And it already has a thermal cell. So we have everything we kind of need. Hopefully. And here's these crates that we're supposed to look at. So if I take out these tools I have right now. It says here we need a wrench tool. I don't know. Is this the right tool? Oh, okay. We just need to click it with one of the things that we have. So that's after giving us some scrap metal and a bolt. That's not exactly what I was hoping for, but this place is actually quite small, considering. I thought this place would be a lot bigger. Um, But anyway, it doesn't matter. This is what we were looking for, this forge hammer. Um, so what we're going to do is put down a waystone here. Uh, let's go back over here and grab the waystone that we first put down. Okay, here's the waystone. Let's pick that up and head back to it now. I was actually underneath it this entire time. Like, you can see, that's where the waystone was. Here's the forge. I was underneath it this entire time, which is ridiculous. Uh, if I had to dig a few blocks to the right where I, where I first dug in, I probably would have landed in here, but it uh, doesn't matter. Anyway, so we need to put down a waystone now so we can teleport back and forth, because it seems like we're going to have to make ourselves another... Um, oh, what's it called? Uh, thermal cell? Uh, which is pretty cheap, so we'll just call this Tetra Forge. And now we'll just teleport home. I'll organize that uh, layout of it later so we can put all this stuff away. My ender pouch away, put this away. Okay, so if we come in here and look, go to at Tetra, we have ourselves a combustion engine. The thermal cell is an energy tablet and two blazing capacitors. So if we grab these and come over to our energizer, put these two items in, instantly crafted. I don't know how full the other one is. So we're going to have to make sure that it is okay. We just need enough to make ourselves a netherite hammer. So back to Tetra Forge. And what we need to do is open this guy here and put our hammer inside. So now using this, if we grab out all the other ingredients here. So this guy gets a combustion engine here. Thermal cell there. I don't know what this is. It's definitely not a combustion engine unless this guy is broken. And it doesn't seem like this tool here works as a claw. So I probably need to change to a different tool. Um, but anyway, if we grab out the netherite here and the alsteel, steel, let's see if we can upgrade this hammer to netherite. Okay, so it turns out this hammer doesn't class as a netherite one. What if I was to put alsteel steel in? Till tier 7. Is it because this guy's not working because of that? Maybe this thermal cell here isn't actually charged? Full, full. Hmm. I guess I do need a different claw tool. Let's take out this hammer and head back. So I guess this doesn't count as a claw. What counts as a claw then? Okay, you know what? I think I actually selected too much of a high material. It seems obsidian does work and boom, that did definitely work there. So it seems we have to upgrade to obsidian first and it seems we're out. But if we add a binding of a bolt, does that increase the t integrity? No. Uh, does rabbit hide increase the integrity? Yes, it does. So hammerhead obsidian requires a tier six hammer. Wait, it just worked though. Oh, I see what's going on. This guy is completely stuck now. Uh, it seems that because of the way it is, it is very broken. 
So I need to like repair it after each hammer. But there we go. So now we have this tier of hammer. If I was to teleport home quickly and grab my other hammer, does that mean we can upgrade to netherite? Let's actually try it from here. So blackstone, hammerhead, netherite. No, still need a tier seven hammer. Okay, how do we upgrade to a tier seven hammer? If this Tetra Forge only counts as a tier six, how do we upgrade it? And how much does that use? Quite a bit. Uh, it's now good instead of like brand new. But if we look at the quests in here, Forge upgrades, I need any of these two upgrades. Um, can't craft these guys. You can craft these guys, but these require the ultimate circuits, which I cannot do. Um, so that ain't gonna work. Uh, Insulated plates. Hmm. And tier five is an obsidian hammer. It seems to want to use the end rod. Should I add the end rod onto it? So obsidian hammer, flimsy handle, basic handle, end rod. It's still a tier five hammer. This guy in here is tier four. And this guy now is a tier five. What does it say I need to do next? Um, netherite ingots will get you tier six. They're basically a walking forge. But how do I upgrade to netherite? Do I have to do it in here? Hammerhead, netherite. You have tier six, requires tier seven. What gives me tier seven? That's what I don't understand. I thought this guy here was supposed to be tier seven. But clearly he's only tier six. So am I missing something or is there something else I'm supposed to do first? Okay, I might have been able to turn this thing here into a claw. It seems that worked there. So I have an obsidian claw now. What does that do? If I go back to Tetra Forge, can I use the claw on this side? I can. That took out a combustion engine that was broken. Oh, I know this is it here. There we go. That gave us an insulated plate. Can we attach a forge hammer to transfer your unit to increase its efficiency? Um, there's no other things in here. Right. Since I'm like still very new to Tetra, I have a feeling I might need to go find another dungeon or forge that has what I'm looking for. Since I know it's down below my level 18, which we're on right now, we might be able to go find a different one. Just out of curiosity. What the heck? Where's that coming from? Jesus, loads of music. Another creeper playing music. Jesus, the amount of mobs playing music is ridiculous. Um, okay, so the forge is back over there. I need to go back to it now. All right, so how are we going to actually upgrade to netherite? Because it doesn't seem to be working. Even though we have the obsidian hammer, it doesn't work. Unless I have to use, like, durability or something. Um, yeah, because it's only tier 5. Right, let me see what I can do and see if there's anything in the holosphere that tells me what material I need to go to next. Or maybe I'll just have to look up some sort of, sort of tutorial because I cannot figure this out. Okay, so... As far as I can see, this hammer here is not counted as a tier 6. And I have a feeling that's because of the combustion engine. So what I need to do is go find myself another combustion engine. And the only way to do that is by finding another one of these forges. Because if I look in here on their, like, materials. If I search true materials, it uh, doesn't seem I'm able to do that. But if I look through each one of these, uh, here's elf steel, and you can see the tier is six. I need a tier six hammer to use it. But I need something that will give me tier six from a tier five material. So I don't know what is going on. And from what I can see, everyone else is having the same issue. Like right now, this is counted as a tier five, which is right. But I need a tier six to upgrade. But unfortunately... I can't get a tier 6 to make a tier 6, meaning this guy is the only option. So what I'm going to do now is go fly around somewhere else. Maybe I'll go to another Tiger Biome since now I know I need to be deep underground to be able to find one of these things. I might even fly over to this. Um, I think there's a Tiger Biome right here, Snowy Tiger. If I go there, I might be able to find one. So I guess I'll be back in just a second. All right, I found another forge. It actually was a lot easier going down to this Y level. So let's hope this one's a little bit bigger. Uh, I literally just teleported to the magma dungeon and kind of dug straight down, went in a straight line until I found one. I uh, just need to find a way in into this guy now. Where's the entrance? Ah, there we go. 
So this guy doesn't seem to have the forge. So I'm lucky I didn't find this guy first. Um, but he does seem to have this kind of crate here. So using that crate, grab out the claw and the hammer and the knife just in case. So it says in this guy here, we need to use a hammer to your tree. So, and if you look inside, oh, we actually can see what's inside him. So hammer, hammer. Oh, I need to wait till it charges up. Wow, this is really hard to break in. There we go. And there we go. Does that mean it's open now? We can open it. No, is there more I need to do? Oh, we need the claws. There we go. Scraps, emeralds, scrap, more scrap, chaotic, empathizer. Oh, there's different levels of storage in here. Okay, more scrap and more scrap and a stone cutter. Which is also another item for a quest. And this guy here is a claw. Which gave us another insulated plate. Um, Is that actually it? Is there nothing else in this place? Oh, that's disappointing. Am I going to have to go find another one? It seems so. Great, that took for eight ages to find that one. But I guess I can't help it. I'm going to have to go find another one. Well, this was a surprise. I was just digging down. I broke into it and I can see four forges. What the heck? There's a, looks like an undamaged one over here. That's an apotheosis mob. Um, I was not expecting to find that. I just picked a random location and dug straight down. Oh my God. Okay, it does have the forge hammer here, but it doesn't have the actual anvil. That's not a problem. The thing I'm looking for is not on this guy. Damn it. Uh, we have a full one again. And um, we need to break into this guy, so claw and hammer. Let's do this again now. The fact that we have about three forges over here it means that we could actually probably get uh, our combustion engine definitely this time. I just picked a random location. I wasn't even expecting to find it down here. Like, that was just random. Anyway, so latch. Actually, if just hold shift, we can see in there. Oh, there's one of the things I was looking for. I'll show you now in a second. You might have just saw it there when I was holding shift. And... Presto, there we go. So redstone, this is the guy I was looking for, the planner stabilizer. I don't know if that will actually give us a higher tier. I doubt it, but might as well try. So you didn't give me anything. You aren't, okay, that's a full thermal cell. Another combustion engine, perfect. And this guy's full of little crates. Oh, he actually has physics. Oh, that's cool. What's that guy? Lubricant dispenser can be attached to a four chamber, reduces the chance for the jammer to jam or the hammer to jam by 50%. Oh, that's interesting. Um, nothing around here. I might as well take out all of these items. This one here looks like he's depleted. Oh, no, he is full. Uh, here's another one now. I just need to put down some blocks. And let's use the hammer this time. There we go. Another one of those planar stabilizers. Right, let's go over to the next ones over here. You don't look like you have anything in them. And we got this forgotten dude. Oh, this thing is off again. It was on snooze and now it's screaming in my ear again. Uh, this guy here doesn't seem to have anything. Uh, do you have anything? Oh, well, there we go. Fell in the lava. So you didn't have anything. Let's over head over to this one. Unless this is all meant to be one big structure and that's why there's only one hammer. Okay, let me just fly a bit of water here. Do you actually have anything? Okay, you do have a crate thingy. And uh, drop down here. And build. And more scrap. Okay, I'm wondering if this is supposed to be all one big forge thing. That's why we can't find anything. And damn, those forgotten guys are using colored tools. Or colored weapons, which you can only get by using the quark. Oh, wait, no, they are quark mobs. That would make sense. Yeah, if you wanted your tools to be enchanted a certain color, you can use the, the runes uh, that we have right here to color your tools in any kind of way you want. We might actually do that now when I think about it. We've got an apotheosis boss over there. Um, okay, we have enough stuff looted here. We've got 40 seconds, and then I can teleport back to the other forge, so I guess we're just waiting. All right, Tetra Forge. Let's hope now by adding a second combustion engine into this guy, he actually will allow me to upgrade to netherite. So, hammer in. Uh, actually, I need the ingredients now. So, second hammer, netherite, alsteel. And I think that's more or less it. Obsidian. 
Extractor. Made available due to an item in your inventory or nearby schematic. I don't know what that means. Uh, hammerhead Netherite. Okay, thank God. The hammer now is counted as a tier 7. And for some reason, it's set the place on fire. But there we go. Netherite Hammer. Which is exactly what I wanted. Now that we have this, we have a tier 6 in total. Meaning now we can actually go to a higher tier. But let's actually see. Can we upgrade this hammer to Alfsteel? We can. Which, you know what? I'm doing. And because of that now, I do not need this forge anymore. And because of that, let's go home. I don't think I need that thing anymore, but we'll hold on to the location of it just in case. Now, this planar stabilizer, yeah, could have upgraded our tools even further. And actually, you know what? Actually, no, it won't work unless I have the thing. But anyway, let's put all this stuff away now. Now that we don't need it, let's go back to that Tetra because I put my hammer away by accident. And put all of this stuff in my inventory away now as well. Right, the last thing we need to do now is grab back out some elf steel. So, elf that potato away. Alf steel, put the book away now as well, and come in here and upgrade our tools. So let's start off with our sword. So we want to use just a basic blade. And in here then, we're going to go from... Oh wow, look at all the negative stats we're about to get. Um, bleeding is going to be minus 16, but that's all stats that we can get by honing over time. The base damage right now is 15.75. We changed that, that it only dropped by like one, not even one, less than one. And that's without even having any of the sharpness on it. All we have left is mending. So now that we have a stronger sword, we can add like a ton of sharpness onto this guy and hone him over time. Um, I kind of want to hold onto my fortune here, but I actually have a villager that has fortune five. So I can just buy a couple of books and combine it there. So pickaxe head, elf steel. Pickaxe head, elf steel, boom. We have an elf steel one. We have a leather strap here, but I want to change that to rabbit hide because it'll give more integrity and more chances for better um, enchants. Uh, I'm missing my knife. Um, Tetra, give me back my netherite knife and stick that up there. I should actually just stick the hammer here as well. So right now we have a binding of 11, and if we have the rabbit hide, we can get a binding of... Uh, 12. So done. Honing on that, which is nice. Now, do we upgrade the iron handle? What is the benefits of changing this thing to an elf steel? We increase the magic capacity. We lose our mending and our mining speed goes down, but we gain nearly a thousand durability. I think it's worth it just to have that. There we go. We have a full elf steel pickaxe, which is amazing. Now we can do iron axe. So we'll do axe head, elf steel, iron adds. So where's the adds? Adds head, elf steel, done. Wow, this thing is just as strong as our sword. And uh, we are out of elf steel though, but I should be able to craft maybe two more elf steel quickly. So we'll just wait for that to craft. Oh, wait, maybe I have the redstone disconnected. Hang on. Yep, I have the redstone disconnected. Uh, if I hook that back up there and hit that button. To drop the ingredients and now it should craft it again. So one elf steel back into here. And we're going to say binding, binding, rabbit hide, add. So that was a honing of uh, integrity of 12. Iron handle, basic handle that. And now it makes a 14. Boom, a full elf and rabbit hide one. Uh, we have a Neptunium counterweight. Should we change this to an elf steel counterweight? Counterweight that. What does this actually do? It just increases the durability. We're not losing anything, really. We have a bronze hilt. Maybe we should change the hilts. So, simple hilt. Adds on a ton of that. We lose 0.7 of a damage. Which will bring the thing down to 14. Um, which is fine. What's the fuller? What does a fuller do? Reinforce the fuller with elf steel. We lose speed, but we gain 1400 durability. Hmm. But it also gives us 16 honing. Let's change out the wrap here. So, uh, to, uh, to rabbit hide. The fuller, I don't know what is the thing... Okay, 
Let's actually just wrap the hilt in that. What does this actually do for us? Increases the speed and increases the damage. Okay, so if we were to have an out steel hilt and wrap it in rabbit hide, we get a 15.4 attack damage sword instead of 14.7. So we are literally back to the same damage we were before we lost all our enchants. Perfect. Now we have no enchantments on our tools anymore, which is disappointing. But if we look in here at hashtag mending, we should have some mending books left over. We only have one. Right, we're going to have to go over to our villagers and buy a ton of books. So let me run over there and grab all the books I want. Right, I think I have most of my books here. Um, oh yeah, no, the efficiency books I was thinking of actually go on the axe. And then looting, that's just an extra one. So let's see if we can add these on. So let's start off with this guy here. So I'll steal... Uh, let's hone our damage. So let's upgrade that. And now we'll click on it. Enchant. And we're going to add capturing. We're going to go enchant again. We're going to have mending. Cannot have mending. Wait, why can we not have mending? Um. Okay. I guess mending is something we can't have, which is very odd. Looting and vorpal. So we have capturing, vorpal, looting. But I mean, we're considering how much durability this thing has, I shouldn't have to worry too much. But still, I feel like we should have um, some sort of mending on this thing. Maybe I should have added mending first. Let's try enchant mending. Cannot be used. Okay, that is strange. I can't have mending on my tools at all. But anyway, we can have fortune on this side, go to this side, enchant with fortune, and that should give me back my fortune 14. Yes. It also apparently has honing mine efficiency, so why not? So we're going to enchant this side here with efficiency. We're going to enchant this side here with efficiency, and that gives us efficiency 14 as well. This thing should dig incredibly fast. We're about to go test it now in a moment. The handle, I don't think, unless the handle actually is supposed to get mending. Ah, okay. So the handle gets the mending. So does the counterweight here, or oh, the hilt, the hilt gets the mending. There we go. Okay, that makes much more sense. So the Alsteel Cutter, Alsteel Enchant with Efficiency, the Alsteel uh, Adds uh, Enchant with Efficiency, that actually gives us Efficiency 14 as well, and then Handle Enchant with Mending. So there we go. Let's go test out how powerful these tools are. So if we go down to our mine here, and let me actually go back up and get some flights. There we go. And if we go down here, and let's just go dig something. Uh, let's turn it on to shapeless. There we go. And let's go over here and start digging. Oh my god. What about if I'm standing still? It's insta-dig. And if we just dig around for a while, you're going to get all of these things being settled. And we're all going to start honing up the durability, the efficiency of everything. It's going to be great. And we can also do it with our accent as well. And that should increase the durability. Or the, the synergy of everything. As you can see, honing available. Even though we're not mining the material and receiving it, it is still like dropping all of these different little settling parts. And then we can do the same with our sword if we just go to the end and just kill Enderman. So put all that stuff away. And yeah, pretty much now, if we were just to go back to the table here, put it in and say honing, mine efficiency too. Now it's even faster. The only thing I haven't gotten this guy is sharpness. Do we have actually sharpness? That's the one thing I completely forgot to add. Um, that's a sentient sword. You have sharpness four. No, you have sharpness six. Near sharpness four. Let's grab out a tome of scrapping here and chuck that in there. And that only gives me the unbreaking off of it. Damn it. I wish it'd give me something higher. I don't have a sharpness villager, so maybe that's something I will try and get. But I mean, with the amount of like damage this thing is already doing, if we go to our Enderman farm, run over here and just kill Enderman for a while, this thing is going to hone extremely quickly. Okay, killing this Enderman here actually gives me. Um, a few more enchants I know I need to find out now is Sweeping Edge, because I'm only killing like four or five at a time when I should be killing a lot. Um, I do have this plus one Sweeping Edge book here. 
So let me see if I can enchant a few swords here and see if I can get Sweeping Edge on them. Right, I think I've got my sword where I want it. It's got Sharpness 5 on it, Sweeping Edge 3. It's at 19.25 attack damage. And I mean, like, that will go up over time as I, like, uh, start using the thing and start using up, like, its um, honing. Uh, it turns out killing Endermen isn't actually as great as you think. I need to kill 500 of them. Um, so I might be sitting here killing them for a while. But it just means I'm able to kill a lot more easier now, as you can see. That's definitely a lot better. So I'm going to end it there. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Hope to see you on the next episode. So without further ado, goodbye.